Okay, this video is going to be a tutorial on some of the common Linux command line commands that we use that have to do with the currently logged in user. Okay, so I'm going to run some Linux commands, so I need to open the terminal or the command line. All right, so if I'm logged in to a system, a lot of times the command prompt will say what user you're logged in as. My prompt here only has the directory that I'm currently in. The tilde is a shortcut for the home directory. Uh, it doesn't show me who I'm logged in as. So I can say, if I don't know who I am, I can say, who am I? And on this machine, my username is Luke and I'm logged in as Luke. All right. If I log in to another system, SSH, uh, CS15100, so this would be a student account at cs.indstate.edu type in my password. Okay, here we see the command prompt is different. This is the command prompt on that machine. I am logged into that machine and any commands that I run now are actually going to be running on that machine and not this machine. That machine will send the output back to my terminal screen, but all of the programs and all the commands are running on the CS server. All right, so this command prompt you see is different. It shows your username, that's who I logged in as, and then the host name the name of this computer is CS. It's the CS server. Okay. Then it also shows you the path where you're currently working. All right. Up here, I was in my home directory and my shell, uh, my command prompt just does a little shortcut for that. And that's the tilde. Okay. So here, if I say, who am I, that is the user that I'm logged in as. Okay. We have print working directory as well. So this is, uh, my home directory on the CS server. All right. I'm going to open a, another terminal window. And this here on the left is going to be my local system. And on the right is going to be the CS server. And we're, we'll kind of compare those, those two commands as we go back and forth. All right, so here I have who am I? Over here I'm Luke and print working directory. That tells me where my terminal is located right now in the directory structure and I'm in my home the the root directory is slash then I'm inside of the directory called home and then I'm inside of the directory called Luke and that is my home directory on this machine over here uh, the user accounts are organized differently because there's so many um, inside of the root directory which is just slash we have a u1 directory and then inside of that directory we have a class directory and inside of that, we have CS15100, which is my class user account. All right. So <clears throat> that's the who am I command. Uh, after that, we can look at the finger command. So finger should show you who all is logged into the system right now. Okay. So right now, uh, we have some, only a few people logged into the system. Uh, I'm logged in. Jeff Kinney's logged in. Jeff Exu. And... Uh, the root user, I guess they called Bob Smith. All right, so those are the only people logged in right now, and uh, we can look at those with the finger command. All right, now where does this information come from? How does it know this user, CS151, is associated with Luke May? Okay, so I can use the change finger information, CHFN. So what this does is it allows me to change any information that the finger command has about me, my user. Okay. So if I want to change this information, it's password protected, so no one else can change my information. I'm the only one who can. So I type in my account password. Okay. So change the user information, and I can say uh, John Smith. Okay. Full name and room number. I just leave these blank. You can just leave them blank as well. All right, now when I say finger, now it says John Smith is logged in. Okay, so that's the information. That's how it knows my account is associated with the name. All right, so I wanna change that back. So the command to do that is ch change and then fn for finger. So I wanna change my finger information, type in my password, and then type in my real name and then I usually just leave the rest blank. Now we, we test it out and we use the finger command and we can see, there we go. 
it's updated correctly. So all of you should use the chfn finger command. When you first logged in, you probably saw something similar. Uh, it runs automatically the first time you log in. So if you didn't put your information in the first time, you'll need to do it again. All right, but make sure you have your first and last name. All right, so that's the finger command. Um, <clears throat> all of this information gets stored uh, in a configuration file in the file system. Okay, so we know that slash is the root of the file system. There's a directory called etc slash etc. So slash is the root of the file system. Inside of that directory, there's a directory called etc that has configuration files. All right, and we can uh, we can look and see what's inside of here. ls slash etc. We have all of these configuration files. All right, different programs, different things running on the CS server require different configurations. All right. One of the most common files in a Linux system is, is the password file, which keeps track of users and passwords. Uh, in this system, the actual password portion of it has been removed and put to a different file, so that way people can't see uh, one another's password hashes. Okay. So, but we can look into this file, and it has other information, like the user information as well. So if I want to look and see what's inside of a particular file, I use the cat command stands for concatenate, slash etc, slash, and then paswd. That is the password file. And we see all of the passwords, or all of the uh, user data of all of the people on the system. This is a very large system, a lot of users, OK? So what we can do is we can uh, use the grep command to look through this. And we can say, uh, Rep. I want to see all of the CS151 users. Okay, so this just shows us the output from the CS151 users. Okay, so here's where I wrote the command, right? and here's the output. So it's not a whole lot of output. I can type clear, and it clears my screen. Run it a couple times. Run the command again. Now, when we scroll up, we can see kind of the start a little bit better. So these are all of the lines in the password file, passswd. Okay, so remember this is slash etc slash passswd. And the information we have here, I was looking for any lines that contain CS151. So every single one of these lines output here should contain CS151. We've got it here, 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 right? Each one of these has it, all right? On the left is the user. Okay, so this the instructor account for a course is just the course number, uh, and all the user accounts start, all the student accounts start with 00, 01, 02, 03. I always take the 00 account, so I have an account that's just like you guys's, and I have an instructor account. Okay, so we see both of these accounts. The finger information has been set, right? So when you do change finger, this file gets modified. Okay. So we have the username. Uh, every user has an ID number and uh, a name associated with it. And then this is the shell that the user is currently using. All right. The shell is basically the program that interprets the commands that you type. Okay. There's lots of different shells. And we're actually going to do a video on shells uh, coming up. But the shell basically reads in what you type and executes the commands as necessary. All the shells can be a little bit different, but they're also very similar. So there's some subtle distinctions between the shells, and we'll talk about that in the next video. But this line in slash etc password tells you what shell that user defaults to. And you can change your shell, and I'll show you how to do that. If we uh, look at uh, my long-term account user, Elmay1, uh, grep that, and we see I use the shell Z shell. Um, that's one of the newer shells. Bash is probably the most common, and Z shell is uh, it's fairly common. And all of Macintosh computers are uh, the new versions of the Mac OS are going to be uh, shipping with Z shell. So Z shell would be the one I would recommend you get familiar with, uh, specifically because Macs are using it more and more. Bash is the most commonly used, and Z shell is a little bit newer than than that one. All right, and that has the reason Mac is going to it has to do with licensing, um, different stuff like that. So 
anyway, our shell, our default shell is shown here in the password file. And that's basically also your home directory. Okay, so my home directory is a little different than yours. All right, so this, all this information is stored in slash etc. It's a configuration file slash etc slash password. Okay, and those are the primary commands you're going to be dealing with uh, with respect to Linux users.